Hey guys, it's Izzy here and today I'm going to be doing a video that I didn't plan on doing today but uh, I saw this tag on the internet somewhere and uh, I was watching the video, I think it was Pulling Bananas Books video or Emma's Books video uh, on, on this tag and I saw it and I was like this is a priority now and uh, I need to do this video and this tag is the book to movie adaptation tag. If you don't know, basically the title is pretty self-explanatory. You have a list of what I saw, five books. I at least have five books that I'm just, I just want to see the series or this single book like put into a movie, movie adaptation. I want to see it on the big screen. I want to like see it on Netflix for a movie. It doesn't need to be like released onto theaters, but I want to see it as like a movie somehow because <sighs> That needs to happen, okay? So um, let's just jump right into the video. This list of books that I'm going to be talking about aren't really in any specific order. I don't know if it's supposed to be in any order. I can't remember. But I just um, am just going to go off on like whatever I can remember like on my bookshelf. So the first book I want to talk about because priority <laughs> is Amulet by, I still don't know how to say his freaking name, Kazu Kabushi. Kabishi? Kab Kabishi? Whatever. It's about, I've talked about this book several times before. It's a series. I'm on like the sixth, fifth book and uh, it's really good. And uh, it's about this girl named Emily. She finds this amulet that was given to her by her <laughs> grandfather? Grandfather? Grandfather. Sure. Um, and um, this amulet possesses magical powers and um the fa the first book is basically like she her mother's kidnapped by this crazy creature in this other universe and she and her brother Navin have to uh, meet like his grand um their grandfather's like friends which are low key furries but whatever and uh go save their mother and this is her journey of being a stone stonekeeper and amulet sorcerer person yeah so I think this would be so cool first of all it's not only a woman in power but like it's like if you could like like Sadie Sink Sadie Sink right yeah it could totally happen and then Navin could be like Noah Schnapp or something or like what am I thinking of I don't know that's that casting would be great and then like as the mom like do you know, like, probably, like, um, Winona Ryder? I just thought of that at the top of my head. I haven't actually thought about who would be her, uh, uh, Emily and Navin's mom. But, yeah, and it's such a good story. Like, such cool, like, magic and such cool concepts that I think would be really well. If they, if the director did it well enough on the big screen, it would be, like, the next, like, I want to say Harry Potter. I think it would be the next Harry Potter. This story would be great on the big screen. The next book I have here is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Oh my god, I finished this like last month or sometime around there. And I freaking love this story. It's about this girl named Elle that is a huge fan of Starfield, which is this huge franchise, a lot like Star Wars and Star Trek. And then this guy named Darian, who is cast as the lead male character for this reboot of this movie franchise so um this is basically like a huge fangirl story i said on goodreads when i reviewed this if you liked fangirl by rainbow rowell you will love this story i think you'll like it more than fangirl because this is just so much like oh my god they give a harry potter reference in here and they talk about star wars repeatedly i'm going to read the i'm going to watch the movies i'm buying the movie set for christmas the original series and i'm like whoa so excited but um can't wait to join that fandom and um i think this would be such an interesting story i think it's like very different from the other cinderella stories that have come out on um dvd and, and movies you know like decoms and the original because like this is real life this is talking about real life and this can like oh my god i felt all the emotions i was laughing i was crying i don't remember how i rated it on goodreads but i really like i love this story and it holds a special place in my heart now just like fangirl does and i uh so precious 
The next book is actually a book series and I haven't finished it yet, but I'm like four books in and I'm like so into it. It's uh, the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer. The first book is Cinder, then there's Scarlet, and then there's Cress, and then there's Winter and Ferris. I still need to read Winter and Ferris, but oh my god. So basically Cinder is a retelling of Cinderella. It's This whole series is set in like the future where there's like robots and there's um cinder is a cyborg which means she's part robot part human and then this it takes place in like where there's like a king and like there's this whole like monarchy monarchy is it a monarchy i forgot what it's called but yeah basically it's like the disney princess is retold and they're kicking ass and i freaking love it scarlet is basically little red riding hood crest is rapunzel and uh winter is snow white and i don't really know what ferris is it's basically them trying to take over like like beat queen lavana and if you do not know who queen lavana is she is like this really she's pretty scary okay casting wise angelina jolie would be queen lavana fight me yes she would yes she would you can't fight with me on that she did a great job being maleficent so i wouldn't be surprised if they were to do a movie remake a movie of this she would be queen lavana yes she would and then oh my god um prince kai prince kai oh oh what's his name aha uh -huh. ross butler would be prince kai that is like that's also like valid Dove Cameron would be Cress, and oh my god, wait, I'm trying to think of, like, actor names to cast. Whoever would be in their 20s and with red hair would be perfect for Scarlet. I can't think of anybody. Ah, wait, how do you say this girl's name? Catherine McNamara. She's in the Shadowhunters show. She would do such a great job with um, Scarlet. I'm just, I'm thinking about this, uh, like, at the top of my head, like, my immediate, like, reactions and um yeah I think that this would be also so cool and badass like it would literally like kick you know like diversion out of the water it would like bitch bye like I would love this so freaking much if I were to see it as an, in like movie form especially like ooh, if it was like a mini series no it, uh, movies but like oh my god that it would be amazing coming in at number four I think it is, is the Ugly series by Scott Westerfield. I still have to get to reading the books that I did on my December TBR list, but uh, I really want to see this as a movie. This is such an interesting concept, and it resonates so well with society nowadays, because social media, making people seem like they have to look perfect. And this meets that sort of topic that we need to discuss. Um, it's about this girl named Tally, turning 16. She can't wait to get the surgery, which is to make her look pretty. And before you get the pretty surgery, you're an ugly, and you live separate from the pretties. So she figures out something. I forgot what about this surgery and what happens after the surgery. She wants to back out. It's basically like, is it a rebellion story? I don't even remember. But things happen and it starts this whole, whoop, I dropped the book. Great job, Izzy. But um, yeah, like this would definitely be such an interesting thing to see on the big screen. Maybe. Um, yeah. And the last book that I have, I technically own like only the last book in this series, but the Legend series by Mary Lou is so cool. Oh my god, this is another huge priority that we need in this industry. Like, basically, it's about this girl named June and this boy named Day. June uh, has a brother. He dies for a specific reason that we figure out at the end of Legends, I think. And um, um, June suspects that Day killed his brother, her brother, so they meet. And she's a spy, and she's trying to figure out stuff about him. And uh, it's in this uh, dystopian world, a lot like, um, I keep on 
relating things to Divergent, but this is so much better than Divergent. I mean, I'm, I'm not a Divergent hater. Can I just say that for one second? I'm sorry if I feel, if it sounds like I'm throwing Divergent under the bus, but I don't really like how they did the movies. So if somebody could show them how it's really done, especially with this series, it would be great. And um, I haven't even like seen the last movie in that Divergent series. So um, yeah. You know, if they could, this is like low-key not, this is, this is not a good book. This is, well, I mean, it's a, it's, it's, it's good, but it's not nearly as good as the first two, because this is a trilogy, if you did not know. Um, and if they could make this into a movie, and then make the third movie ten times better than the third book, like actually improve upon the story, based on what we already have here, that would be great. Thank you. There are so many cool t twists and turns in this world and this plot and like <gasps> you figure out what really happened when her uh, brother died and then it gets so emotional and June and Day are such a great pairing. I love it so much. And as casting goes, I can't exactly think of anything. Um, but I think that this is such a cool world <laughs> and I really want to see it somewhere. Like as something okay i want to see like fan casting i need to look at the fan cast casting Haley steinfeld as june is coming up a lot and then i just thought of ryan potter he plays hero hamada in big hero six as day that would be really interesting or ross butler too ross butler could fit a lot of different roles in this series in these series it would be so cool to see that or Catherine Langford. Ooh, that's a thing. That's a concept. When I say Catherine Langford, I'm Langford, I meant as June, not Day. Or they could make a gay thing. They could like make it a lesbian relationship. Make Day a girl. I like that. That'd be interesting. Or don't. That's fine with me too. So yeah, was that five? I think so. Yeah, that's basically all the books slash book series that I have for this uh list that was a ton of fun i am so excited to look up fan casting and like updating you guys on what i think or probably not you probably don't really care about the fan casting i might want to do like a video of like fan casting books with like friends that are either like not booktubers or booktubers or like whatever just to sit down by myself to do that that would be totally cool um and uh, I haven't read any books for my TBR this month. And I'll get to that today because school got canceled today because uh, the electricity doesn't work. Hey, what do you know? That's cool. And Christmas is next week. That's also cool. I might want to do a Christmas themed video, but I can't think of any right now. I want to, I might want to do a Christmas themed tag because I'm into tags right now. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video, if YouTube decides to make it work, you know what I mean? And my social media will be down in the description bar, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!